Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel. And in today's video, I'll give you a quick tutorial of an app that I use for outlining writing assignments and research papers, Carbon Fins Outliner. So I am someone who outlines practically everything from 50 page research papers to five minute YouTube video scripts. I have a lot of information spinning around in my head and I find that I do a better job of communicating my points if I have a preset organizational structure and I work through my points in a methodical way. So I did a video recently on the four great tools that I have used for outlining. But in this video, I'm going to take you through one of those tools, Carbon Fins Outliner app. So this is a tool that's available for iOS devices and that also has a web-based component, which was important to me. I do not believe that there's a version for Android yet. It is also one of the few apps that offers the ability to collapse sections, which is important if you are in the habit of creating very detailed, very long outlines. So let's take a look. Once you download it from the App Store, you'll need to create an account. This is so that you can access your outlines from the web-based interface as well as your iPhone or iPad. So normally when I'm writing from an outline, I write the paper on my laptop and I reference my iPad for my outline. Alternatively, sometimes I create an outline in a word processing program and then I can write directly into it. So then my writing and my outlining are all in one place. So Outliner is a reference out, out, outlining app but I like to also have access to the web-based outline as well so that I can paste citations and quotes and examples directly into my paper as I write. I'd rather not type them all again if I could just cut and paste from the web version. Okay, so here we are in the iPad version. Outlines are stored on the left here. It's a very basic organization. Somewhat ironically for an outline program, there only seems to be one level of organization for your files, but you can apply tags to virtually group your outlines together. So for example, I created a tag for one of my classes and by hitting the tag icon uh, here at the bottom, I can filter the list to include only those outlines. The basics. All right, so let's start a new outline by hitting the plus sign down here. The easiest way to get started is to just tap here at the top of the outline and start typing. You can hit return to get another line that's on the same level, or you can hit this icon up here. Alternatively, you can hit this diagonal adding icon to get a line that is nested under the first level, a level two line. You can also get the same result by creating a line and then hitting the arrow to increase or decrease the level. So once you have established a hierarchy or a line with levels under it, you can hit this arrow to the left of the line to collapse all of those lines underneath the heading. So let me show you why I like the ability to collapse. Here's an outline with lots of detail in it. Without the ability to collapse, the main structure of the outline starts to get a little lost. But if I collapse everything up to the top headings, I can see the basic bones of the paper again. In addition, you can move lines around by hitting this button up here and then using these little handles to the right of the lines to drag and drop them into whatever order you like. Just remember, whatever lines are nested under it will be moved as well. Okay, so those are the basics. So now let me show you a couple of other things. Notes and settings. So instead of adding these references like I have here as a line within my outline, instead I can put that reference in a note. Just hit this note icon to the right of the line to add a note. You can also choose to hide or view the notes and the outlines options, which you can get to by hitting this icon to the far right. Here you can add a tag for organizing the outline into a group. You can show status, which I'm going to get to in a second. You can show the full notes or not. You can show just one line of the notes. You can put numbers on your outline. You can hide completed, which I'm also going to talk to talk about in a second. Um, you can make the font smaller. And then you have some options for sharing down here. So let's see what it looks like with only one line for notes. And this is what it looks like when you hide the notes altogether. So you can see when there is a note attached to a line by the fact that the note icon does not have a plus sign in it. Tapping on this icon brings the note up so that you can edit it. Checkboxes. So I use this app for outlining, but other people must use it as a task list since there is a way to add checkboxes to each line. So right now I am showing all of the checkboxes so that when I, I check one, you can see that it is complete. If you go back into the settings, you can select hide completed and anything you've checked off will just disappear. So I actually prefer not to show the checkboxes at all, which you can do by turning off show status. So two more things on the iPad version. If you are pasting from another document, you can add a new line um, and just paste into it. But if you are pasting multiple lines and you want them to create multiple lines in your outline, there is a way to do that. Instead of pasting into a new line, choose these three dots up here. Now choose paste and you can see that each 
a new line creates a new line in your outline rather than just one giant lump of text. You can see that there are other things you can do here like expanding and collapsing everything, checking all the boxes, and copying everything as well. You can also export your entire outline from the screen by hitting the email button, which will email a text version of the outline. So I have my account set to sync automatically, but you can also force a sync with the web version by hitting the sync button up here. So let's just quickly visit uh, the web version. Just a warning, the website is a bit of an afterthought compared to the app. I find it a little clunky and the lines don't always wrap properly, but it is nice to have a web version to cut and paste things directly into your paper. You can also create a new line outline by hitting this link here. Once you have, you can expand all, collapse all, clear all checkboxes, choose to show notes, and show checkboxes check all up under the title. Everything else is done by clicking on the individual lines like this. And you will need to remember to save manually since it doesn't do it automatically, at least as far as I could tell. You can also export or print your outline by selecting the file name on the left or import an outline using text or OPML, which must be a standard outline file format. And that's it. Let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated, and thanks for watching.